so friends here you have to make some paper balls according to the i mean anatomy of the fish so where the stomach is and the mouth portion so all you have to decide and just make the balls first you can see how i am making the balls and for stronger base you can tie them up or stick it with glue so it's better to tie them up with a thread so that it doesn't gets open up and tie it very tightly that it doesn't slip and come out of the structure because in paper pulp when you are making a sculpture out of paper pulp all you need is a strong base so you can make many shapes like here i have been using triangle for the uh, mouth part and for the stomach part i am been i have been using balls so in this way you can just tie it up and give it a shape so you can see that almost the structure of the fish is ready now just tie it up with a thread and tie it tightly so that all the papers get stuck into it and they don't open up while you are working because it is very necessary to keep in mind that the base doesn't come out because it will create a problem for you when you will be applying the paper pulp so tie it nicely as much as it is possible for you and just check it out that it is giving the structure of the fish or not whether how much paper you need for the stomach and for the tail for the mouth so see it and then tie it up nicely after that we will be applying paper pulp on it so it's better to tighten it up Now you can see almost the structure of the fish is ready. All you all you have to do is to first apply a coat of fevicol or any adhesive you are using. So first apply it nicely all over the surface. Don't mix water with the fevicol because it will lighten it up. Just use the direct gum and then stick it. You can use the gum in the paper pulp to make it more stable or stronger so that it doesn't come out like uh, you know when you don't add glue on it it will just not stick to your work so for making it more uh, able to stick you have to add glue and then paste it on the surface of the structure see how i'm patting it giving it a shape and then st sticking it to the structure because all of a sudden if you add more of the paper pulp it will just may uh, dry it dry quickly because paper pulp dries very fast so just take a little amount of pulp and then stick to it add gum and then stick to it it will be convenient while you will be working because 
Paper pulp is one of the thing which replaces the clay. So if you are not having clay and you want to make a project work or a sculpture which is light in weight, so paper pulp is the best option according to me. It takes a time and I want to remind you friends the paper pulp is made while undergoing a process so for the paper pulp recipe you can check my description box i will give you the recipe over there and you can make it on your home by your own so it's time to stick now stick it well so that it covers up the whole base After you are done with the paper pulp, just dry the structure in the sun because it will get hardened up and it will be convenient for you to use it further. And for fish, you know they have scales on their body, so I have been using a medical bottle cap for making up shape of the scales and just piercing it lightly on the body because you can see the paper pulp is still dry. Uh, still wet sorry it's my mistake still wet and it is quite easier to punch up the scales with this bottle cap so you can give it a shape of the scales place it wherever you need and just place it smoother and in a half circle and just give it a shape of a scales so you can see all over the body i have done the scales now it's ready so dry it up dry it more nicely the tail part is still a uh, more to dry so dry it up now it looks like this when you dry it and just give a coat of primer to it because i will be using oil colors to paint this so paint a coat of primer and let it dry for one day and then we will color it up Friends, you can see here I am drawing the des uh, design of the tail, how the goldfish has. You can draw it like this on a plastic sheet. Make sure that the plastic is hard enough. Don't use the polythene and cut it like this. You can make an other fins also. Give a rod inside the fish structure to give it a base like the paper if you stick that plastic sheet over here it will gradually fall down so you can add a thick wire just 
insert it into the tail of the fish and it will give you a base now you can see that i have fixed all the tails and the fins of the fish whichever it has number of fish uh, tails and fins it having so i fixed it with pins and all the rods you can see the wires i have stuck into it now i have colored it bit darker so that it matches with the thick plastic you can add effect of the tail to the plastic as well